So I imagine you might be here because you are curious about Canva's Pinterest scheduling tool and you're wondering, is it right for you or not right for you? There's also a lot of buzz about Canva's recent price hike. A lot of people are up in arms and a lot of people are trying to figure out if they're still going to use Canva in general. Now, I love Canva. I think it's amazing, but I want to drill down to figure out if Canva's Pinterest scheduling tool is right for you, if it's something that you want to use. Now, it's important for you to evaluate both time, efficiency, and productivity when it comes to scheduling your pins. Just the other day I saw in a social media thread, somebody said they loved Canva scheduling for Pinterest. It was like their favorite. When we've tried it, it's been a little bit clunky for us. We definitely prefer a Tailwind over Canva for scheduling just because it is so efficient for us. We've used it for years. We have tried other tools as well. And if you are budget conscious, Canva might not be your best choice, but Pinterest has its own native scheduling tool. We're not gonna go deep into that today, but that is free. So if you're just pinning a few pins per day, it could work for you. Okay, here I'm gonna walk you through what it looks like so you can make an informed decision about whether or not you want to use the Canva scheduling tool for Pinterest so you can see the behind the scenes. Let's dive in. All right, here we go. Move myself out of the way. We have a pin pulled up here. Let's pretend these are filled in. They look really great, yada, yada, yada. Okay, then we're gonna hit share up here and we're gonna hit this little Pinterest scheduling tool. And as you'll see, it's going to pull up the boards that I have. We're gonna select a title. I'm just gonna fake write it in, but you could say how to create holiday pins. And when it says page one, that simply means we are choosing from these options here below, one, two, three, four, five. So I wanna choose that first pin here. We're gonna complete the description. Obviously you would write a better one than I am writing here. And then you would select destination website. These are in our shop. And so I'm gonna grab the link here, come over right here, and then I'm gonna hit publish now. We're also gonna go back and delete that pin because we don't want to keep it on our account. But for these purposes, I'm going to share this with you. Okay, I'm going to go to Pinterest's check your post. We're going to pop that here. And you can see that it shows how to create holiday pins, complete the description. So if, so I don't forget, we'll, we'll delete that pin later. All right, so right over here, that's essentially how you schedule in Canva. It's not that hard. If you want to go back through, change it up, hit Pinterest and do page two. You can select page two. It'll switch to that. Actually, it didn't switch. So I would go ahead and just move it on your own. And now it will auto populate there. So that's how you schedule in Canva. Listen, I know that your inbox is probably really full of emails. I get it. Mine is too. But if you are pursuing Pinterest marketing, I think we have one of the best newsletters out there about Pinterest marketing. It's not super wordy, but it gives you just enough details to keep you up to date on anything that's happening on Pinterest, any resources we find relevant, our latest podcast and our latest video here on YouTube. It takes less than five minutes to read, comes out every single Wednesday, and it's called Pinterest Made Simple. We curate this newsletter with the education that we do for our team by pulling in all of the articles and resources and giving you what we find most relevant. So I don't want this to be another email in your inbox. So if right now you feel like, Kate, I just cannot take another email, that's totally fine. But if you are looking for information just to keep you up to date, just kind of like a touch point, you can sign up for the Pinterest Made Simple newsletter here below in the description or here with the QR code. So get the Pinterest Made Simple newsletter today. We promise not to clutter up your inbox and be more of an additive to your Pinterest marketing. Okay, here's the takeaways that you need to consider before you are choosing a scheduling tool for Pinterest. One, does it fit your budget? Do you have the money to invest in whatever tool it is in order for for you to effectively pin. Two, how much time do you want to devote to pinning? Some people like scheduling tools because they can sit down on Sunday and they can batch out their whole week. Some people like to pin every single day, so they might even choose to manually pin. I don't know why you would do that, but some people might love it. Or you could use the Pinterest scheduling tool, but that only goes out 30 days. So just know if you're wanting to schedule further out, that's pretty limited. 
but hey, free is free. But that is how the Canva tool for Pinterest scheduling looks. And you can decide if that's a great fit for your business or not. Okay, so if you're really curious about how many pins per day, what pinning actually looks like, Tabby on our team did a video of how to pin 70 pins per week. And you can watch that down below in the description or maybe up here, up here wherever it is. When it pops up on the screen, you don't need me to point to tell you where to go. You just go there. So if you're really curious about 70 pins per week and how we do that efficiently, go ahead and watch that video. Alrighty. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, and subscribe, and we will see you in the next video.